ACIT's Hot Talk, the show that lets you know. Good, Good morning, morning and welcome, welcome to today's, today's edition of Hawk Talk, the, the show that, that lets you know. <clears throat> That's strange. Anyways, I'm Hasiara McNeil. And I'm Calvin Simon. Oh my god, Calvin, I wrote a poem. Do you want to hear it? No, no, no. You don't the have to. The roses are red and the violets just happen to be blue. I'm so happy because we graduate in June. Key Club is hosting their annual poetry slam on November 16th. Winter sports participation packets are due November 6th. Cheerleading clinics will be held November 13th and 14th, and trials will be the 15th, but you must hand in your sport packet, complete and turned in. Speaking of sports, are you coming out to kick it with the soccer team at their homecoming game? Kick it. I see what you did there. <laughs> Hey, where do you think you're going? Practice is over, I'm leaving. Ah, what do you mean practice is over? You need more practice. What do you mean I need more practice? Beat that. Bet. I'm definitely gonna kick it with the team. It's only funny when I do it. Anyways, are you excited for Halloween? Yeah, but I don't have any idea on what to be. Well, Shakira showed me some easy DIY costume ideas. See if you like any. Can keep my hands on myself. Well, maybe not costumes, but we can design some pretty snazzy clothes here at ACIT in the Fashion Academy. That is true. Let's take a look on what they have going on there. In the Academy of Fashion Decorating and Design, students take their time in cutting, pinning, and sewing clothes together that will be later featured in ACIT's annual fashion show. Uh, my choice was fashion, and I chose fashion because I like expressing myself through my own form of art and because I like making my own stuff. So far, I've learned how to use a sewing machine and cut out my own patterns. This year, I'm looking forward to learning how to make our own clothes and being in the fashion show. We are looking forward to ACIT's annual fashion show, and we are excited to see what the Fashion Academy has in store for us this school year. Wow, they are sure learning a lot with so many plans for this year. They aren't the only ones learning a lot and having fun. Here are some behind the scenes of Media 2. You want to hear a scary story? You know I get scared easily. There once was a student who wanted to succeed, 
but he waited for success. And he missed SAT boot camp! <laughs> but it gets worse. He missed boot camp, signing up for FAFSA, and his college application. <sighs> I think uh, I took it too far. Well, I'll wake her back up. Here's an announcement on getting ready for college with the counselors here at the school. Good morning, students, and welcome to this week's edition of Counselor Connection, bringing you the latest updates from the guidance department. Here are this week's announcements. Most ninth grade students should now be registered for Naviance, and the class of 2021 survey should be complete. At this time, you should focus on completing the career interest profiler and other follow-up surveys under the About Me tab. If you haven't had your classroom visit yet with Mrs. Stano, to register, don't worry, you will by the end of the month. All 10th, 11th, and 12th graders who have registered for the December SAT should sign up for November SAT Boot Camp taking place November 27th through the 30th, so please see your counselor to add your name to the list. ASVAB permission forms are now available in guidance for the December 1st test date. Please see your counselor to sign up or for more information. College bound seniors, FAFSA is accepting applications for the 2018-19 school year as of October 1st. Please visit www.fafsa.gov to apply for financial aid as soon as possible. And lastly, to all juniors and seniors who were not able to join us for financial aid night last week, please make a follow-up appointment with your counselor for more information. Well, that's all for this week. Tune in next time for more guidance updates from your favorite counselors. I'm so glad we have so many counselors and resources here at ACIT for us. What's wrong? <sighs> It's not that my friends are boring, it's just all my friends are meh. Well, maybe you should try opening up your friend circle and talk to people you don't usually talk to. Our school is hosting Mix It Up Day on October 31st. All right, if only there was an app that just matched you up with classmates you were friends with. Let's see what that happened today. Stay still while I scan your face. Name, Calvin. Age, 17. Loves corn dogs and fears human interaction. Now, scan a stranger to find similarities. Did you just take a picture of me, creep? Name. Sierra, age, 17, loves eating corn dogs and is afraid of the dark. Connection level, 97%. See? It's pretty cool, I guess. So, uh, you like corn dogs? This 31st, our school will be participating in the Mix It Up at lunch, where students will have an opportunity to talk to new people. 95% of students said Mix It Up Day at lunch prompted them to interact with people outside their social circles. But an app hasn't been invented yet, so you're going to have to get up yourself and talk to new people. Friends? Friends. <laughs> okay, now I'm excited. <laughs> Calm down. Let's close the show. Alright, I'm Calvin Simon. And I'm Hasier McNeil. Thank, Thank you, you for watching Hot Talk. Talk. Join, Join us, us next time on the show that, that lets you know. know. Have, have a creepy, creepy day. day. Ha, ha, ha.